People ask me how to live from the end. In their comments, they know the importance of doing so. They know that imaginary acts help, but they can't do them consistently. Some of them say that they can't visualize. Don't worry. In this video, I will tell you about a technique that is so simple yet powerful. It has been discussed by Neville Goddard many times in his books. I see it as an extremely easy way to think from the point of view of having your desire rather than thinking about your desire. You know this technique very well. You might have heard about it but not fully used it. So, throughout the video, I will show you some examples of how you can use it to your maximum advantage. Some of you might have guessed this technique. For those who didn't, it is called inner conversation. Many people use techniques because they are tools that can help them achieve and maintain the feeling of the wish fulfilled. There is nothing wrong with using a technique. Inner conversation, on the other hand, is a technique that can help you achieve the feeling of wish fulfilled. Inner conversations are also a part of imagination. Not only are visuals imagination, but so are your inner dialogues. You are involved in imaginary conversations the majority of the time, but they are not that fruitful for some of you. It's because you talk from the place of unfulfilled wish. From day to night, if you observe yourself, you will find yourself saying some words internally. You might be playing conversations based on some regrettable events or the events you attended during the day or about something that didn't go as per your wish. In this technique, instead of playing those hurtful, regretful conversations, you are required to replace them with a happy conversation that somehow satisfies you. These conversations must come from a place of fulfillment. Like in Neville Goddard's book, there is a story of a lady who has a very negative relationship with her employer. She said that her employer was unjust and never appreciated her work. Upon listening to this, Neville advised her to watch her inner conversation, as the cause was within. Following the advice of Neville, she noticed that throughout the day, when she left her home for work and after coming back from work, she was always blaming and criticizing her boss. She was amazed by what she was doing, so she followed Neville's advice, and the next time her boss crossed her mind, she started having a beautiful inner conversation with him. Then everything got changed, her boss started praising her, and everything became alright. As others repeat what we secretly whisper to them, the secret is always within, the secret is your inner conversations. I know some of you are manifesting your specific person. What do you think manifesting them is all about? Speaking only a few affirmations, and then having negative conversations with them throughout the day. Well, it is not like that. Manifestation is not about using techniques but changing your state of being. It is about changing your dominant state. If you are manifesting a specific person, inner conversations become an extremely powerful tool for living from the end. You can have these conversations at any time and anywhere, whether you're driving a car, working out at the gym, having coffee, or simply sitting on the couch. You can imagine having a conversation with them about your honeymoon destination. If you really want to go far, you can have conversations with them about your kids. Like this, you can have a conversation with them. Also, you can have an inner conversation with a family member or a friend who is telling you that you and your specific person look good together, that you are made for each other, and all of that stuff. All these conversations can change your mood, they can leave a smile on your face. It can manifest the same things in your life. It's all up to you, you have free will to choose. Become creative with them. Imagine a kid coming to you and saying you both look beautiful together. So, what are you saying at any given time? Watch what you are saying internally carefully because the whole world is your inner conversation pushed out and you can change it by changing your inner world. Your inner nature needs to be changed. Your dominant state needs to be changed as your dominant state gives you ideas and manifests everything in your reality. You can watch videos and read books all you want, but doing is what counts. If you don't do it, if you don't take the mental action, it will remain a theory. You have to make it your experience and only then will you know that it works. Be a doer, not just a hearer. Don't just listen, act. Just be mindful of where you are having these conversations. Most of the time, people talk about how their significant other misses them and wants to see them again, which is not living from the end. It gives you temporary pleasures. They may miss you, but what happens next? It only implies that they are not with you and are not in a relationship with you. With this, I hope you learned something wonderful. Subscribe because I post these videos regularly. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.